Hello again, and this is yet another lecture for Mac users. And in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the Atom editor on a Mac computer. So if you're a Windows user, please skip this lecture. Atom is quite an advanced editor, uh, but if you have your favorite editor by now, uh, you can go ahead and use that editor. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, if you choose to uh, look, to have a look at the Atom Editor, uh, then please follow this lecture. Uh, you First of all, you're going to have to download Atom. Simply search for Atom Editor. And then uh, go to its website, which is atom.io. Download for Mac. And so while you wait for the download, this is how the Atom Editor will look like. So like that. And so the download has finished on my end. And you can go ahead and click Atom. Click Open. And yeah, basically uh, Atom has been downloaded and has been installed. So you've got a welcome guide in here. You can close that. Uh, this is an empty file. I'm going to close it as well. And let me close uh, Atom and try to show you how to actually open it from scratch. So how to start Atom from the beginning. And so let's see how to create a program and execute a program with Atom. And uh, you want to launch Atom. And then go to View, uh, Developer, Open in Dev Mode. And that will ask you for the directory that you want to open. So go to Desktop, and go to the folder where you have your programs, or uh, the folder where you want to create your programs, if you haven't created any program yet, and click Open. And so you get this tree view in here and close that and double clicking a file will open the file here in the editor. And so you can go ahead and add more code there. Uh, 3 plus 4, 4 and you can also create other files. So you right click on the main directory, go to new file my program 2.py uh, let's say print 5 this time uh, control s to save and so you have two programs now in here and you can switch through the uh, different files by clicking the tabs in here so how to execute these programs now well, you can use your uh, Mac terminal, just as you did in the, previous, uh, in the previous lecture, or even better, you can go ahead and install a package. Uh, so go to Packages, Settings, View, Open. Go to Install. Type Platform U IDE. So dash IDE dash terminal enter to search and then go ahead and install the platform IDE terminal package the installation should take a few moments and yeah finally platform IDE terminal has been installed successfully so you can go ahead and uh, close settings and you'll see a plus icon in here if you click that an embedded terminal will open in Atom Editor and you can drag it down and up to resize it and if you see closely you'll notice that uh, the terminal is open in the current folder see so untitled folder this one in here 
and that means you can go ahead and use Python now, Python 3, and execute a program, my program, my tab, program.py, and that will print hello. Actually, it was supposed to print hello and then 7, but maybe I didn't save the script, so click on the editor here, Control S to save, and then click on the terminal again, uh, press the upper arrow key to call a previously executed uh, command, execute and you get hello and 7. And yeah, this is how to use the Atom editor. Uh, this is good because you have both, uh, you have the directory tree here with your files, with your Python files, and you have the editor here, and you also have an embedded terminal. So I hope you like Atom, and from now on I'll be using Windows, but things will be exactly the same, uh, because Python is cross-platform, so, which means the code is exactly the same on Mac and Windows and Linux as well. So just follow me, and I hope you'll succeed with Python. I'll talk to you in the next lecture.